Hi guys, welcome to another Hui4 video. In today's video, I'm gonna be losing my sanity as China. I'm basically gonna show you guys how you can repel Japan's attack and basically take them out as well. I'm gonna play on regular difficulty and with historical focuses and obviously 93 6 start. First thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna organize my army. We got 24 of these infantry divisions and 33 of these other divisions. I'm gonna delete 9 of these small infantry divisions and these remaining 24 will all be cavalry template. Let's give these divisions a field marshal. As for general, I'm gonna go for Sun Li Jen for infantry and this guy for cavalry. And I'm gonna exercise my entire army until I reach one army experience. As for construction, I'm gonna build sieves in Anhui because it has level 4 infrastructure. I'm gonna research trucks and also support equipment. I'm not gonna produce any ships except for convoys, of course. As for the other production, I'm gonna go with two factories of told artillery, some four factories of anti-air, and the rest will go to the guns right now. And I'm gonna buy two factories of steel from... Eh, I guess Soviet Union. Our first focus is free principles of the people which will give us 5% stability. Once we reach one army experience, we're gonna stop exercising our army, and we're just gonna shift and exercise it, so that way only the divisions which are not level 3 are actually exercising. We're also gonna create the cheapest possible tank with heavy machine gun, and we're gonna produce them with two factories. Once you get 50 political power, we're gonna go for old guard, Zhu Jiru, that way we get some air experience. Our second focus is nationalism, which will give us 10% stability. After the support equipment, we're going to research Recon Company 1. After nationalism, we're going to go for prioritized interior focus, which will give us another 5% stability. These ones just give you stability, really. And at this point, when we hit 100 political power and also 20 command power, we're going to go for one of these guys. I'm going to go for Army Organization Expert, and we're finally going to get some Army experience now. After researching truck, I'm going to go for basic machine tools. We're going to produce three factories of trucks. I'm going to take one factory away from guns and two factories away from anti-air and I'm gonna buy some rubber. Also we can buy one less factory of steel. Minus one steel means only we're gonna lack steel for convoys. But here's the thing. We wish for those warlords to say no so that way we get a war goal. However, the anti-communism focus gives us war goal on communist China and also on Xinjiang. So if you would first finish it, Sinkyant could simply say yes and become our puppet, and we wouldn't get a war goal on them. But if we do this focus first, then we get a war goal on them anyway. That way we ensure that at least Sinkyang is not going to be our puppet and it's going to be annexed. I know it doesn't make any sense, but by just doing this focus before this one, we can ensure that we're going to have an extra 5 or 6 factories. Anti-communism is done, I'm going to go for subjugated warlords. Let's take the first army, and they're going to have a fallback line, something like this. We want to let them expand. But we don't want to lose our supply up here in Xi'an, otherwise we're screwed. After Recon Company, we're gonna go for Octarian Mechanical Engineering. And one thing I forgot, once you hit 20 army experience, go for Political Loyalty. Also go for Air Cruise Surveys, but that one you don't have to do right away. Anyway, with Political Loyalty, we just got another 15% stability for free. Alright, let's declare war on the Communist China. The strategy with them is well known. It's simple, really, with the walk into our territory. After that, just pin them and use cavalry or other forest divisions just to go around them and walk into their own provinces. If you are struggling, then use your planes. You got 15 tactical bombers which have basically giant range. They can always support your divisions here. Let's go for concentrated industry 1 for some more production. Anyway, you should pay attention to subjugated warlords focus. Also, you should get a sound for course as soon as you hit 150 political power. One day before this focus is finished, make sure you declare war on Sinkyang. That way they will not be able to say yes. We got some more factories, and I'm just going to assign them to guns. Let's not forget to buy some more steel. That's it. Communist China is gone. We're obviously just going to annex them. And just like that, we just got extra six factories out of thin air. Let's send our divisions back to where they were before. Anyway, we're about to subjugate the warlords, so as the Quervar on Xinjiang. That way they can't be our puppet. Everyone said no except for Shibei San Ma, so they're gonna be our puppet. And the reason to war with Xinjiang because we we at war with Sinkyang when they became our puppet. So let's request their troops, put them into a new army, and they will go here. I'm also going to take some 6 of my cavalry divisions, send them here as well. These 18 cavalry divisions, they will go from the Shibei San Ma's border onto the Shangri's border. Also, next focus we're doing is democracy, because it gives us some political power, which you're going to need later. And let's declare war on Guangxi Peak. Now we have to pin their divisions and also exploit the gaps in their front lines. Hopefully getting inside of their cities. Also slow down the game so you can actually micro. I'm also going to use my bombers, which I got 15 of. Close air support in Guangxi. 
Next up, let's declare war on Shangji. Make sure we pin all of their divisions and basically manually take every single promise that we can take. The most important one, obviously, is their capital. And finally, we will try to take some victory points in Xinjiang with this last army. And now let's get the radio and let's steal their capital. And there goes their city number two. We now need to take Wheeling. <laughs> By the way, this looks kind of weird. This is circlement right here. Push deeper into Shangji and into Xinjiang. Also, let's give these guys trucks. They encircle their own capital, but we hold it, which is important. Anyway, Shangji is gone. Let's annex it. So I'll put all these guys into this army, give them trucks, and let's send them all to Xinjiang. Actually, when I think of it, let's send some of these guys down to Guangxi, because we're having some issues. This is an absolute mess here. But we are winning in Xinjiang, at least. Anyway, let's now start building some military factories in the states with level 3 infrastructure. We finish democracy. Next focus is constitutional reform. That gives us 10% stability. Let's go for limited conscription. If you get enough army experience to do land doctrines, don't do it yet, because we need to do army reforms later on. So look at this, we somehow still control this state. Ah yes, big victory points be like. Anyway, Xinjiang is going as well. We now must take out this thick Guangxi clique. But you control all of their big victory points, except for Guangzhou, which they retook. But once you take it back, this war should be over. Anyway, let's do something. I'm going to take this template, the good one, duplicate it, give it a priority. And this new template, I'm going to give it support artillery and support anti-air. I'll see how many of these I can actually convert. Can I convert them? Yes, I can. Let's do that. Now they're actually going to have some soft attack. Constituted industry 2. And we're about to take Guangzhou. Here we are. Guangxi clique is gone. The last remaining warlord is Yunnan. Let's go with some more artillery and some more anti-air. Four factories each is more than enough, the rest will go to the guns. Instantly push through their gaps. What is the blood doing? Kill me, just lost. Anyway, the next focus is gonna be Military Affairs Commission, so we can do army reform. Fun fact, when we finish this focus, we're at war with Japan. Let's give everyone trucks at this point. Also, these guys will have organization first. Let's sacrifice this one division to the Sun God. We did it. We're now gonna win the war against Japan. That's the trick. Oh yes, let's use our planes here as well. And also let's research improve machine tools for some more production. Funny name city has fell, which means United is gone. Anyway, it's now time. Time to put some of these divisions into training, like two of them. Anyway, we're gonna take our own cavalry. Just 24. And they're gonna stay here. These guys will be a new army, the Shibay Sanma troops. They will be garrison divisions, and they will garrison ports all across our big coast. I think there's 12 ports in total, minus one which is on front line right here, Tianjin. Next thing, build land forts right here. We need level 1 here and here. Level 3 in Beijing, level 2 in Tianjin. Our army goes like this in these three provinces. Let's now make their template bigger. I'm speaking 20 width type of bigger. Oh no, we don't have enough guns. Well, in that case, I'll convert cavalry to these. That way we save up some guns, because infantry takes away less guns than cavalry does. Also, these divisions will have very important armored recon company. Should give them whopping 0.8 armor. Anyway, let's give these guys a general. And let's deploy these 12 divisions. And they'll join this army. Do we have enough time to build up these guns? Not really. I could delete like two of these. Also, I'm an absolute fool, I completely forgot. Let's move these guys on this front line right here. Marco Publish incident is here. We're not gonna pick the first option, that way it auto clicks in two weeks. Next focus is army reform. So you can do army reform decisions, making our army less bad. Thanks to my stupidity and forgetting to move these troops here in time. These divisions don't have organization, so we will lose like the first, first line of land. Japan declared war on us. Amazing. The first thing we want to do is go for total mob. Watch this, from 26 down to only 8 Kazuma Goods factories. Let's also go for extensive description to counter the loss of manpower. And here's their very first naval invasion. I think this is kind of a lucky one. What you should do always is unassign your full first army. And what we'll be doing in Beijing now is basically the recycling ritual, if you know what I mean. Let's pin these divisions, don't let them move. So yeah, what I was saying, in Beijing you have to manually fall back divisions with low organization and replace them with the ones which are resting right here with high organization. Sounds simple, it is, but you forget about it and then you lose Beijing. Let's destroy this failed naval invasion finally.
This is the peak play four gameplay. check this out we got only 26 27k they got over 100,000 casualties already recycling is the best strat in only four when defending let's make sure that we're building actual military factories in states which have okay infrastructure army reform is finished and instantly what you need to do is to pick army reform decision our next focus is going to be unified industrial planning let's go for formation flying after improve machine tools we're gonna go for intervar small airframe all right they're making the second naval invasion right Oh, okay, there they are. Anyway, at this point, it's time to make some more of these divisions. I guess four of them would be fine. If they manage to spread here, it's over, basically. Since they have pretty big port right here, and also secondary port right here. So even getting some of these divisions from the main line off into here is not going to be bad. I'm going to go for bombs. Anyway, don't let them take the port. Do what has to be done. Do last stand, do force attack, whatever has to be done. Don't lose the port. Even losing this one is not going to be that bad. If you lose Qingdao, it's over. Also make sure you're actually using planes here. And if the enemies are doing lots of bombing, do interception instead of the air superiority. Let's produce more guns, 20 factories, more like it. Anyway, after you finish this focus, you can either get the next resource slot. Or if you're having some issues, which I am kind of having right now... What you should do is wait for 20 days for the first army reform to finish. Also, in the meantime, you can go for mm, some of these guys, although I'm out of command power. Let's instead do popular figurehead for another 15% stability. Anyway, once you're done with army reform, instantly click it again. And now you're able to do war of resistance. You'll be only 10 days late for the next focus. And you'll get 15% permanent buff for defense on core territory. It's just defense, but it's nice. Also, we're building these military factories insanely fast. It takes us like one month to build one. We got nice encirclement here. Let's annihilate it. We managed to break through here. Let's quickly take this port. Although, don't take the port. You'll see why. Make sure the enemies have one port under their control. I would recommend you to go for either this port right here or Shanghai. Those are good ones, because if enemies take it, they don't control the state. Yeah, if you take Shanghai, you don't control Shanghai. Also, let's go for light machine guns. But look at this. They just sent two divisions here. And guess what? We can simply destroy them and let them control the port. And they'll keep coming back and back. And especially if we delete the order, we can do support attack, and these troops won't even move in. They will just attack, destroy enemy divisions, and stop. As you can see right here, they just stopped. In the meantime, let's go for Infantry Expert. Once again, there is one division here. And as you can see, they're gone. What I'm actually going to do now is I'm going to get all of these good divisions back into the first army. So I'm going to take these four good ones, put them into a new army. They'll have a fallback line right here. And once they get into position, I'm just going to delete the fallback line. Meanwhile, this army will have a garrison order, garrisoning all the ports except for one in Shandong. Because they don't want them taking this province right here. And as you can see, there's a new division right here. Let's annihilate it. Now we can start pushing here from Beijing. Let's do it. Taking this province will be the best because there's a supply hub there. Guess who made a new naval invasion? No offensive in the north then. I'm going to move half of my army back down here so they help us out. Also, war of resistance is finished, which means you got permanent buff for defense and core territory. If you want to do war of national liberation, which will give us 15% bonus attack, we have to wait for another month. So let's not do that. In the meantime, let's do expand the Academica Sinica. New division here. Let's destroy it. Actually, three of them. Okay, that's even better. Actually, six of them. Oh my god, that's just... This is getting better and better. Seven of them. We can't even overpower them. We must bring some more troops in here. All right, we should be able to take them out now. And by the way, Japan just hit half a million casualties. I miss the old days when taking out the circle divisions gave so much more casualties. Anyway, we have massive surplus of guns, so let's instead focus a bit more on the artillery and on anti-air. I'm also going to make some production of transport planes, like three of them, nothing too much. Three factories, not three planes. Maybe let's produce some more artillery. These divisions are annihilated. New victim arrived here, and on top of that, we can now do army reform for the last time. Now we can actually do War of National Liberation, which will give us 15% attack on core territory. Pretty, pretty nice. After Intervar Small Airframe, I'm going to start researching Paratroopers 1. Let's start pushing. As I said previously, taking this province is going to be the best because of the supply hub. New more division right here. Let's destroy it. 
Oh my god, they have nine divisions here. Okay, that's next naval invasion, definitely. Also, let's destroy these two. There is no way I'm taking that. Wait, <laughs> they gave up the port just like that? Actually, there might even be a chance for me to encircle these guys. Let's try it. Yes, we did it. We did it. Five divisions encircled. Also, I'm going to push alongside the coastline. We need to either reach this port or to reach like this province right here and then build a port ourselves. That's because Western Manchuria has no supplies. We really have to build a port somewhere. And all these factories that I put previously into construction have been built. They really are being built really quickly. Okay, next focus after this one. Should I do Camps Research Institute or no? I think we can do it. Yes, because that one is risky. If we have less than 74 factories, it just cancels. But if you have 83, I think that's sufficient. Also, it's Rush Concentrated Industry 3 and Advanced Machine Tools. Now it's time for us to start making some actual planes. Four light machine guns. Some double light machine gun defense turrets. That's going to be my fighter. My cast is going to be bomb blocks and also the same defense turret. Put them on the top and... Five factories each, I guess, is going to be good enough. You're going to need a little bit less steel, but way more rubber and way more aluminum, especially aluminum. Let's try making some more encirclements right here. We failed to take this port, so I will build my own port right here. It's important that it's on this big railway. Let's destroy these two. Let's do that bombing. And here's one nice encirclement. And now we can do superior firepower. I mean, if you want to, you can do other land auction. It doesn't matter, really. I'll try to take Mukten because there's a big victory point and also a big supply hub there. i also just put some more of these divisions into training, like four of them. Now, why would I go with four? Let's do as many as we can. 16. Yeah, why not? Our port is almost built, but it doesn't matter. We got the Mukten. So at this point, let's draw an offensive line again and let's just attack. Let's produce more planes. Oh, and yeah, we're out of oil. Let's get some oil. Oh no, they're trying to make a new naval invasion. Too bad I'm about to deploy my divisions here. I'm gonna smash them so hard they'll forget what their name is. Let's do delay. And we almost cut them off. It's really useful to cut off the enemies here in Mengukuo. Anyway, we can now go for War of National Liberation. Let's just hope we don't liberate our country before we finish that focus. I mean, that would be nice, but... That focus would become pointless then. We could actually let the enemies walk into here. I just walk, let another division walk in. Yeah, I just let them land. I'm going to destroy them all anyway. Let's make sure these guys are covering this entire front line. And I'm going to research construction one. I've got so much political power, I don't know what to do. I harm the grouping expert, why not? I'm going to take 16 of these divisions. Let's send them right here so that these guys don't get cut off. As you can see, we lost Mukten, but we got this port right here, which means we have some supplies. New division, let's annihilate it. Let's get their ground support. Japan has almost 1 million casualties, by the way. And we got the War of National Liberation, which means we can just annihilate them right now. Now it's up to you what you want to go for. I'm going to go for a financial policy. I guess I'm going to go for mechanical computing. And I don't know what to waste political power on. I guess I'm going to integrate Ma Army. Rip pee pee poo poo. Or actually, maybe not. We might save this division. Sure. Next focus, mobile defense. I don't know how, but the divisions just t seem to teleport around sometimes. Let's start pushing again. Nice encirclement right here. Let's annihilate it. Let's get basic small airframe and improve the artillery. Build more mills. How did this state get infrastructure? Ah, probably because of Burma Road. Yeah, that makes sense. So let's finally modify this template one more time. I'm going to add one artillery and one anti-air battalion. And I'm going to remove two infantry ones. Financial policy is here. I'm going to go for price controls. This lowers the effects of inflation, but who cares about inflation, really? It's all made up numbers, anyway. Just print more. And we capitulated in Menguko, which means absolutely nothing, since they have, like, five divisions at most. There's so many juicy divisions here, by the way. Here as well. Anyway, we need to get prepared to land into Japan, because we're not satisfied with just winning the war. We want to take them out fully. Also, let's integrate the administration. So, in order to land on the Japanese soil... We need some convoys, and we got 10 of them. Come on, we're never going to produce them. Let's instead improve relations with countries which have lots of convoys and are either fascist or communist. We'll basically ask them for some convoys. Oh no, a naval invasion. 
Also, let's give this guy from Tree Expert. Why not stack these bonuses some harder? And also, let's do this for support. Let's keep pushing here. Also, you take Sinking and Harbin. It's over for Manchukuo. Also, let's move all of our planes into this airport. We actually have a decent air force at this point. After price controls, we're obviously going to go for <laughs> Grain Tax. The best tax. And Rit Manchukuo, they're gone. And now I'm finally going to convert all these guys to cavalry. Let's send them here, and they're going to have a spearhead order like this. Rushing to Southern Korea. Also, let's go for overwhelming firepower, and I guess I'm going to research the artillery. By the way, we just hit 100 factories. They just won't stop with the naval invasions. But to as quickly as possible, take control over the South Korea state. Once we do, which is just as did right now, we can build airports here. I'm going to go with level 5 airports, and let's build more mills. Now we can finally build in the coastal places with good infrastructure. Japan offers peace. No, we don't care. And we got a new airframe. Let's get the even the newer one. And let's make new planes. Once again, same design, just slightly better airframe. We really just need level 1 airport, but usually we need bigger than level 1. Also, entire first army goes here. All the second army goes to this airport. By the way, we've got the green tax. Look at this. Minus 4% consumer goods. I guess I'm going to go for invite foreign investors now. So I kind of forgot. I improved relations, but I forgot to ask for convoys. Let's steal convoys from these countries I improved relations with earlier. That should be 120 convoys, because they usually give you 30 convoys each. Yes. Information fighting it is. I'm going to move all these guys to the airport, and I'm going to select like six of them. They're going to become park troopers. Now I'm basically waiting for the convoys to arrive. We got 120 convoys. And also, it's fully integrated Shibuya Sanma. And now, let's do the trolling. I have 600 planes right here, out of which 100 are transport planes. Let's power drop, like, one of these divisions into this port right here. I could technically check this with my navy, if there's any divisions there or no, but I don't feel like it. Let's get air superiority here. Can we please get it? Yes, we can. We managed to land. Let's send half of our army there. Next up, I'm going to land in, like, Hiroshima. Let's send, like, eight divisions there. And finally, the rest will land in Nagasaki. All right, they landed now. Let's move troops down there. Somehow, Japanese troops are attacking mine here. Let's spread out. Anyway, let's push now. Push in every direction, basically. That's because Japan is super weak right now. They got nine divisions. Rip another two divisions here. But anyway, once you take enough land, we can use some of these airports here. Keep in mind, there is no airports in the center, so you could build some here or here. In case you get stuck, they're making a naval invasion here now. We invited the foreign investors, and soon enough we'll be collaborating with the Japanese in a very, very based way. Until then, let's take these cities in the north. We took Tokyo, and that's it. I'm gonna take my course. I'm gonna take Okinawa. I'm gonna take Korea. Annex Manchukuo, Annex Manguko, obviously. And I'm going to puppet Japan in the rest. Stealing their sieves, stealing their resources, actually, it will be better not to. And let's also steal their navy. This is what we're dealing with right now. We have 120 factories. The United States wants to limit naval rearmament. Yeah, let's, let's be a bit annoying. I mean, when Japan had the exact same ships, it was okay, but now it's no longer okay. Talk about double standards. Anyway... Anyway, guys, that's how you can defeat Japan or China in 1939 or basically 1938 if you do it slightly better. So yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, like, share, and subscribe. Oh, yeah, by the way, if you got any ideas for 20,000 subscribers special, please do share those ideas. And see you guys in the next video. Bye. By the way, if you're wondering why the hell did I do this, I don't know, I just always say bye at the end and do something stupid i just released myself as a puppet of china as communist china and now i'm china and my leader is liang ma liang ma nuts